Hey everyone, how are you guys? I'm here putting together the spine of the Anna Green Gables book. Of course, the, if you're new here, say hi and hello, comment below, get to be nice to get to know you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up. I'm on a mission, guys. I'm on a mission and I wanted to make sure I made this book to be vintage, like as if the 1900s, early 1900s, uh, later 1800s kind of thing. And um, what I had to work with was this book and um, it's like a German book and I had the guts over there I can show it to you guys later and then the spine is from an Anna Green Gables um, book that is from the 70s and um, you can tell it's a little bit shinier than the actual vintage um, canvas type fabric that they had here all I did so far was just tape it down so that I know exactly where I want it um, you can see this is open here kind of thing the next step I'm going to do, and I just wanted to record it for you guys, is I'm going to run this through the sewing machine uh, with um, a, a needle that is good for like leather and stuff. And I have this old, you know, vintage metallic thread that is not stretchy. It doesn't tarnish. Um, it's good for hand sewing and sew machines. So first, before I do that, I was going to test it on a piece that I have already. Um, so I don't put this in the machine and I'll be like, oh my gosh, but, um, I can hand stitch it if it doesn't work, but, um, I wanted to do a gold design going down here. I got to pick out what kind of design I want. Um, and so the next step of what I'm going to do is once that is sewn there, um, I have this tape. And before I tape it down, so you don't see the stitch lines on the other side, I was going to put the vintage music paper. Um, from the 1900s on both sides here and bring that tape straight down um, and that tape matches uh, very well with the color of this. I can always th put a little um, ink here to age it once it's on um, and go from there. So that's my next step guys. I'm going to put this on pause and see what happens. Okay, I am back. So looks like this is what I had to do. I started I started to sew, but it was really not easy. So what I did is I already glued it. Um, I'm gonna take a needle with um, this thread here. Let's see here. This brown. I'm looking for a reddish brown. I think I could probably dye it a little bit if I need to. But I'm just gonna do one stitch line here and one stitch line there. So you can't really see it, but it's not too bad. Um, so looks pretty good. I mean, that'd be my front. That'll be my back. And this is the inside. Um, I will do something here on either side. I'm not sure what, but I wanted to make sure this spine was bound pretty good. This here I can work with later. But I did, uh, like I said, I was going to do is make sure I did the copyright of that music, which is 1915 uh, early, yeah, 1913. I wanted to keep the original piece um, with the copyright on it, which is nice. So there you guys have it. I have that so far. I'll put pause on again. And uh, not bad. Even if I don't stitch it, I glued it pretty good. Um, it's not too bad. I mean, I might be able to, when I sew in my signatures, that I can make sure I sew into this. So then I don't have to worry about sewing twice. So... I may not sew this, but when I tie in the signatures, it should do just fine, I think. But I will darken this, the edges a little bit. I'm not sure what's going to be on the insides here yet, but there you guys have it so far. I'm going to press pause and see what's next. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm cutting this video up into segments. I just keep pressing pause as I go along. So if this is everywhere, I do apologize, which is fine. So, okay, so I'm sure you guys seen the spine here. Again, like I said before, I think what I was going to do is when I put the signatures in, um, I'll use a really deep um, reddish brown thread and I can sew them, the signatures in. We'll sew down this um, original spine um, to the newer spine and um, I do want to try to I like Montgomery because that is the author but I'm not a, a huge fan of having the readers digest there so when I do stitch in a stitch um, I think I might use something to cover that up maybe I'll do um, I live by the beach here um, 
near Navarre. So maybe I'll put a shawl or maybe a mother of pearl. I don't know. I really want to keep this as original as possible. Um, so I don't think I will do that. I don't know. It's just like one of those, I don't know until that moment happens, but here's the front. As you can see, it did really, really good. It's still rugged, which is what I'm looking for. Um, to give you guys an example, why is because my other book, my first one is the same thing. So my poem book that I did. So when I have them on the shelf, you know, at least that they're going to still both look pretty rugged. You know, I want the same theme on that bookshelf that I'm doing right now of my favorite classics. So um, here I have the, I don't know if I'm even in frame, so I apologize if I'm not. Let's put them there. So I did do that paper roll I told you guys about. It's like a sticky seam binding tape. It worked out really well. I even went a step ahead and glued uh, Mod Podge underneath it, and I put a library, heavy library books on, like uh, dictionary books on top here. I am uh, not quite exactly a fan of the look of the paper um, right here. So what I was going to do, um, let's see here, guys, if I can find that. Of course, I'm not pressing pause. I'm just going to do this, guys. Just do it. Uh, where did I? There it is. All right. So I have this beautiful lace. It's really not that wide. So what I think I'm going to do, which I got to figure out what glue I messaged a few people and asked them, what do I do? Help is to put um, glue down this lace that I found. Hope you guys can see this well. I don't know what glue to use. So I'm going to message a few of my junk journal friends and ask. Um, maybe I'll just post on Facebook as well. See what my ladies think too, what you guys think. Um, but I do like the scallop to, to be on top of the music sheet so you can kind of see the scallop. But my signatures are going to be tied in here, so you won't really see the lace per se. But I do want to see this, like here, when you turn a page, which my first page is Anne of Green Gables, which I did dye some of those papers. My first page is going to be Anne of Green Gables. So I want it, okay, so the seam's right there. So... Yeah, so if it's an Anna Green Gables book, I want the first page, right, to be Anna Green Gables. I'm sure I'll bedazzle that somehow. I don't know what, but I like seeing this against this with that lace more than anything. So that's where I'm at. I'm going to press pause and continue on, guys. Okay, so I was recommended by a few people to use Fabric Fix. It's almost like a fabric tack to put down the lace that I did here. I just did it, so it's still kind of wet, but it's exactly, I don't know if you can see that, exactly what I'm looking for. It's just what I needed. It, it kind of covers up that tape that I thought I might like, but I absolutely don't like kind of thing. And let's see here. Let me get my papers are flying. <laughs> Believe me, I do have organization skills here. It just doesn't look like it right now. <laughs> okay, so now when I put a page in, let's see here. I know I have a page that I played with that started. You kind of have an idea. At least now when it starts, you have this cute little lace right there, which is what I wanted. So I'll have a little bit more than just some. It'll be a cute little stretch there, which the beginning will be obviously Anne of Green Gables. That's what I'm looking for. Absolutely adorable. Of course I had to cut down the paper, but I'm excited about this. My mind, I don't know about you guys, but I just can't get my mind off of it. <laughs> uh, I was debating. I know I put this aside because I got work to do. I found this beautiful um, embroidered piece, well, partially some of it's cross stitched and I'm thinking about cutting out half of it here and sewing that on the page. I am not sure if I want to sew it on the very first page of Anna Green Gables right here. Somehow, some way, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I, I'm sure I'm going to cut this out because I can use this for something, but I think I'm going to use the inside square here cut this to size 
and start it here. Um, and that might be my very first page. I am not sure. Part of me wants to stick with just the plain Anne of Green Gables at first because this is a very simple grungy book. Um, let me know what you guys think. You can comment down below what you think. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I can do this on the next page. But I thought this here would be a cool pocket. Right here it says, with the best of love worked in each home and many good wishes to a friend of mine. I thought that was cute. I think this here would be cute trim on something. I'm not sure, but I'll cut that out and sew it onto something. I don't know. Adorable. But this is definitely coming into the book. And you can see the other colors that I've incorporated into here when it comes to some papers. I'm still just working on the first signature. I do have this beautiful blue. For those who watch Anna Green Gables knows um, that there's a lot of beautiful quotes and sayings in it. Um, Jane Eyre and things like that. So yeah, I'll definitely be working on the, the doodads and the different pages and stuff. But right now, I just wanted to get the start. I'm trying not to overthink it. I did um, use the uh, stains by Patty Pockets. And I played around. And I played around with some stamping, too. But I wanted to, um, for the first signature, we'll have 10 of the first chapters of the original book. The second signature will have the next 10 and the third signature will have the next 10. I want to keep the original chapters in line. And so I did only that stain on the front. So the backs will look like this. I don't think I'm going to mess with the backs. I'm just going to keep them as is. I'm not going to fold the pages like this, like some do. I'm going to work them in like actual pages. I'm sure it's going to take some folding and some taping to do that. But oh well. I want to keep it as original as possible. This would be cut, of course. So isn't that cool? So it looks like the stain turned out really good. So that is really exciting. So all right, guys, on to the next step. I am, so you guys know if you're watching this, I will be going live on the 23rd, which is a Friday at 5 um, o'clock p.m. Central Time. I think Eastern Time, that is like an hour later, which is 6 p.m. But um, to continue on, so I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. So I may be further along when I do go live, but I at least wanted to get these signatures started on the dyeing because I have a whole lot. I might have to buy another bottle of the Patty Pockets <laughs> stain because um, I don't want a coffee dye. I know because my husband, he is not a huge fan of the coffee dyeing in the house. So that stain came in so handy um, when you don't want the house smelling like coffee, uh, which I don't mind, but. I mean, I don't live here alone, so. Um, so that turned out pretty good, guys. I was pretty impressed. I wasn't expecting to put lace or anything. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible and not so freely because um, Anna Green Gable, she's very simple. Um, the family is simple. So, yeah. See what's going to happen here, guys. It turned out pretty good. I am pretty impressed. And I can't wait to continue on. All right, guys. You guys have a beautiful day. Bye.